so children in the earlier video i have discussed with you about the definition of the array and also i have discussed with you about the various features of an array okay now the next thing that we have discussed was the why we need an array and then i have told you that in what way we can use the arrays now over here uh, what we will be discussing in this video that we will be declare uh, discussing about the declaration of an array okay so like in earlier programming that we have already did in the earlier classes if we need to declare a very if we need to use a variable so the first thing we need to do is to declare it first okay in the similar way when we need to use an array so first and foremost thing that we have to do is to declare an array <coughs> okay now this is the this is the particular syntax through which you can declare an array okay so we have two ways through which we can declare the array this is the first way through which you can declare it and this is the second way through which uh, you can declare an array both of them are not much different so first i will discuss the first one in which the syntax provides you the declaration of array as that first it will be followed by the data type of the array data type you already know that it is int double float char long all these are your data type so when you need to declare a uh, array of uh, a particular data type so first you will write down the data type of then that array and then the name of the array followed by this square bracket okay this square bracket will be followed in this uh, declaration of an array and it will be followed by equal to new data type and then the size of the array okay so this size will define the number of values you can store in that array so this is the first way through which you can declare an array and this is the second way see this uh, way is not much different with this one also that means what just the different is difference is that the square bracket you have placed it over here but over here you will place it before the array name okay so both of them are true you can follow one of the step among this among them okay so <clears throat> this is how you can declare an array now let's quickly take up an example for declaring an array so in this example uh, we have written first the data type so we need to declare a array in uh, int or integer data type okay so i have written int followed by the uh, data type name uh, the array name followed by the square bracket and which is equal to new int and this 100 will define the size of the array okay that means what 100 values can be stored in this array so this is the first way through which you can declare it and there is one more way through which you can declare it and this way um, that means this uh, step and this second step you can see is not much different just that in this first step we have combined both the both these two steps both steps this one and this one okay so you can clearly see that it has written int room followed by square bracket is equal to new int 100 and if you can divide the thing you can write it this way int room followed by the square bracket and in the next statement you will write down room is equal to new int okay so in this way you will be declaring an array so in this video only this much is there where i have told you about how you can declare an array